All right, Blind William McTell, the song by Bob Dylan. Uh, the way I'm playing it, um, I'm going to paste the link in the description of what I'm flying off of. Um, I think this is the official version of the song, right? Um, I know there's a few different versions of it, um, probably a few different ways to play it. I'm following along with the little black book that they put out for Dylan. Uh, Cape on the first fret, standard tuning. Um, like I said, this is how I play it. Probably a lot of different ways to do it, but I think this is a cool song just to pull out the guitar and just kind of uh, satisfy the crowd with or just something that you can have in your arsenal when you're playing for somebody or by yourself. Uh, the chords are going to be D minor, A minor, and then an A minor special coming from the D minor. I'm kind of playing it like this. Okay, and it's okay to get these uh, fifth strings down, something like that. Um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the A7, the C, the G, and the B flat. So the cadence, and then what I'm talking about for that A minor special is something like this. Um, seeing the A. So it's kind of something like that. Where it has the D minor, A minor special, D minor, and then the full A minor for the end there. So, um, and um, you can do like some hybrid picking. You can do some like um, strumming, strumming picking, and then something like that. I don't know. Just switch it up. That's what I'm doing for that kind of cadence there. So from the top we have C like the full strumming I don't care how loud I am version um, but like I said you could do some hybrid picking so a little bit slower maybe quieter it has such a cool um, chord sequence and lyrics so that's why I'm like you can kind of make it your own thing thought I would show how I'm playing it and kind of get a little background of how they're actually really playing it so um, there you go have fun with it um, it's from the little black book like I said this um, book is definitely worth the purchase um, there's definitely more than a few songs that have like one or two chords off and there's a few of them that are just off completely but like take from like different versions um, like for example blowing in the wind it says capo at the fifth fret but really if you just put capo on the seventh fret it's like the record with the the same chords and um so for the most part it's pretty good um i believe i have a video on that um but if you want me to talk about the little black book more let me know if you haven't already please subscribe thank you for everybody who is out there supporting me i really appreciate it i know we had a little bit of a lull there for the past couple weeks but now I'm trying to get back in the groove of things here and um get to all the songs